What's up everybody, it's your boy Wes Grant, you're watching Sub Urban Nerd, this is the channel where I give my nerd views on today's nerd news, but also give my reviews on movies that I watch, and today's movie I'm going to be giving a review on is Alpha. Alpha is a movie based on the mythos of how humans domesticated the canine. Now, if you guys didn't know about this movie, who's to say, because it's kind of slipped under the radar, it, it had a couple trailers, but I'm a movie person, I didn't see that many trailers for this movie. I just know that I saw a trailer one time a couple months ago and I was interested in it. I wasn't sure if I was actually gonna go out to see it, but after having, you know, the, a, the, the AMC A-list, which gives me three movies a week, I was like, hey, you know what? I'll give it a shot. And I'm glad I did because this movie, it wasn't bad, but it was pretty good. It's being directed by Albert Hughes, which is the Hughes brothers. If you don't know, they directed uh, Menace to Society, uh, I believe it was, uh, Dead Presidents, and also the movie with Denzel Washington, which I definitely love, called Book of Eli. But yeah, this is one of the Hughes brothers doing it on his own, and he, you can see definitely the Hughesness of it. I don't know if that's even a word, but the Hughesness, because cinematically, it's a great movie. Um, it definitely makes you feel like this is happening on an inhabited planet. But I, one thing I will say, the, the CG overall most of the time it was great but there was just some moments where you're like wow that doesn't even look like water that looks like some liquid metal jello type of type of mess but this movie did not rely too much on visuals so i'm pretty sure the the budget for this movie is pretty low but the movie itself it's it's a story it's pretty much like a uh one of those it's a mission to get home is what it is and I enjoyed watching the journey for the for the for the main character from being this kind of whiny brat kind of not brat but a wuss to becoming a man which that's where the movie also is very formulaic like it's something that you see happening you see plot lines happening in fact there was a moment where I'm not gonna spoil it too much but let's just say it's with I, it's, I believe it was a saber tooth but it was hard to say it was dark but I called it. I was like, that person's gonna die. And just a few moments later, and you hear them choking on the blow, whatever. You know, you know what happened off in the background. But I literally, I pointed at, there was no one watching the movie with me, but I was literally like, yeah, that person looks like they're probably gonna die because they, it's like you can kind of tell it with some movies because it's like they, they show the person enough that you know you remember the person. But not enough that you care that much because you didn't you didn't know anything about them. That's pretty much what they did. And then the story with uh, uh, the how the main character Kida, uh, how he actually from the trailers I thought he fell all the way off the cliff, which I'm glad they didn't because I would have been like, how did he survive that? But the way they have him get down is smart, and it was smart on his part. You know what I'm saying? It, it definitely was, but it's definitely convenient for the weather. But other than that, it's him. Meeting up with a bunch of wolves that are trying to attack him. He injures one of them. And somehow, because they're both injured, he decides to take care of him because he can't kill him. And you're basically watching a journey of them basically forming a bond. And then he has to, he's trying to make it home before it gets to the winter time. But too late for that, it happens. Uh, he's, he's in the dead of the winter when he's on his journey. And they're dealing with all types of things. The movie very uh, it slows down at some points where it's you just seeing him walk, slow down, sit down, watch. But at the same time, I didn't mind it too much because you you need to see them form some sort of a bond. And I know I'm here. I'm seeing critics or people talking about how they formed a bond too quickly. I'm like, you don't want this movie to be two hours or two and a half hours. You want it to be quick enough. It's about an hour and a half this movie, and I believe they showed enough for you to understand why the bond was forming. I understand it probably domesticating animals didn't happen this fast, but you gotta understand, it was an injured animal, and it, it, it its, its instincts told it that it needed to depend on this person. It didn't want to, but once it saw that the person showed it, it's sort of like um, Black Stallion, or these movies where these, these horses, or like the, or the black horse, or, or these wild animals, sort of like if you were to d adopt a wild, a, a wild dog, it might not trust you because it's probably been through some ish. And you're like, okay, it's going to it's gonna take a little while. And granted, I don't know if it's going to take be as quickly as this, but this movie did not happen in the form of a day or two. This thing happened in the form of like a, probably about a week or so. So the hours of the day, him taking care of, he was taking care of the wound of the dog. So I believe this relationship did form in a, a good amount of time. 
Now, if I was to give this movie a grade, I wouldn't give it a great grade. Visually, it was really nice. I I I believed and I understood and I I, I, I saw the the maturity of the character. And you could kind of call too, like I called it, like oh he's gonna be before the movie started. You could kind of see he was he didn't even like killing animals to survive, but you knew that was gonna change. So I already knew what the tropes they were gonna they were gonna hit, but I still enjoyed watching it, and I enjoyed the camaraderie of the dog or the canine, the wolf, and the main character Kida. And when he got home, the little surprise at the end, which I did, I did like, and it, it kind of made it make even more sense how these animals got domesticated even faster. So, overall, if I was to give this movie a grade, I'll probably give it a a B minus because I don't believe it's in a C bracket. I enjoyed it more than I thought I would. I enjoyed the the visuals. Uh, I like dogs. I'm 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 a dog person, even though most of the time I've had a cat. Cats have just showed me how much of a dick they are to humans. <laughs> I know, uh, sorry for all you cat lovers, but hey, I've had a cat, and it was like, you are on their borrowed time, you know what I'm saying? They come to you when they want you to pet them. They come to you when they want you to pet them. You go to them, you want to lift them up, they're like, nah, I don't feel like being lifted up. They jump off and claw their way away. That's the way cats are. I've seen it, I've had it. So, I'm sorry, but as far as the dog people, you will love this movie. You will definitely love the, um, the Bond. I don't know if you guys can bring a dog to see this movie, but hey, when this movie comes on DVD or something, maybe watch it with your dog in the comfort of your home. And um, that's pretty much my review. B minus, I enjoyed it. I'm not saying for everyone to go out and watch this, but if you're a dog person, you might like this movie. But overall, if you had to wait, you could wait until it comes on DVD or or a live stream or something like that. So that's my review for Alpha. And uh, remember to like if you liked the way I conveyed this movie. Remember to put on the notifications. Remember to subscribe. Check out my last movie review and check out my playlist of my movie reviews. So remember, I'm Wes Grant. You've been watching Suburban Nerd and you've just been notified. Catch you guys on the next movie review.